Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Loki and thank you for clicking on this video. I'm a big lover of vintage, pre-love and all things luxury, so if this is what you're interested in as well, please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. This video today will be all about the Hermes bag I regret purchasing. We all have luxury regrets at some point when our style changes, or our lifestyle needs changes, or even an impulse buy. I have been collecting luxury bags for a few years now, and there are a few items myself that I would probably not purchase again, mainly because of a few reasons, for example if my style has changed or if the quality doesn't suit my expectations anymore. With a heavy heart today, I will be sharing with you my first ever MS bag purchase, which is also the MS bag I regret buying. I'm so sorry ladies, but I know many of you are fans of MS, and so am I. But let me explain myself in this video, and I hope you will understand why after you have watched this. Sigh. I still remember the day I purchased this bag from a reseller and I was just so happy because I never dreamt I could own an MS bag. Look, I was just starting out my first job after I graduated and it was a life goal for me to at least own an MS bag. Literally, I wasn't after any particular MS bag. I just wanted a bag by the brand MS. So of course, I was on a budget but yet crazy over the brand. I went through various reseller websites like Gumtree, eBay, you name it, and then I realized the only bag I could afford was an MS canvas bag. And that would be the MS Her Bag Kabas in PM size, which is a two in one shoulder bag. So, the MS Herbag Kabas in PM size 2-in-1 shoulder bag comes from the Herbag range which has now been discontinued. There isn't much information on Google or YouTube about the Herbag range. The Herbag collection consists of the Herbag Carry-On which looks very much like a Cali with a handle strap and a shoulder strap. Number 2, the Herbag Sack Adduce also looks like a Kelly but with two long straps at the back to be carried like a backpack. And lastly is this her back kabas which looks like a tote bag. The MS her back kabas comes in two sizes, the PM and the MM size, and as a two-in-one bag it means it comes with an interchangeable canvas, like this. The difference between the PM and the MM size is the size of the interchangeable canvas. This is the PM size, which consists of two canvas sets of similar size. So for me, I have the red and the orange canvas, while the MM size, which I do not have here with me, looks like this with an alternate, larger canvas, more like a document bag. The Herbag range is such a good starter MS bag because it's like two bags for the price of one. Well, before we talk about that, let me give you a brief rundown on what is the MS Herbag Kabas shoulder bag. This MS Herbag Kabas PM 2-in-1 shoulder bag comes in two canvas bags. Mine is the characteristic red and orange, very stunning colours. I love how the red and orange contrast with the gold hardware and the dark brown leather frame. This bag measures 32cm length, 20cm height and 12cm in width. The leather drop is about 25cm which is not adjustable. The leather top frame has the MS brand embossed on the front. On the interior, the leather frame has a chain attached to hang your keys or a small pouch. Each canvas comes with an internal large patch pocket 
like so, which makes it very useful as an everyday bag. I will be doing a separate video after on how to interchange your canvas if you own an MS her bag. It is quite fascinating. Honestly, I feel that this is a value for money buy and you get two bags for the price of one. What can be better? It is a very good everyday bag mainly because it is very lightweight and spacious and being a tote bag, very easy to reach into to grab your essentials. It is definitely good for travel with the large interior pockets and the safety chain. Being a canvas bag, you don't have, have to care for it that much like leather it doesn't scratch and you can get it wet on a rainy day. So for the reasons I've mentioned, I think it's a fairly good starter bag. My issue with the bag is mainly the material of the canvas. I'm not sure if this is just my bag in particular or if anyone else with an MS, her bag, kabas having the same issue now. So I have my bag organizer in here to give it some shape and I'm not sure if the previous owner has washed the canvas before or does the canvas soften with time but it's way too flimsy for me, my liking. I have removed the bag organizer and you can see how flimsy it is. Of course, this bag being my first MS bag, I didn't know what to expect and I should have checked it before purchasing mistake on my part. I was of course more than excited to receive the bag at the time because I just wanted one so badly. Now comparing with online pictures of the MS, her bag, Kabas, I don't see the other canvas in such bad shape. I don't know, what do you guys think? Personally, I like structured bags so this doesn't cut it for me anymore. I also feel that I may have grown out of the whole MS craze phase and I am more selective for my luxury bags and what fits my style. In addition, I'm more used to carrying my bags in the crook of my arm than as a shoulder bag. So in general, I am aware my style has changed and I am certainly getting less wear out of this bag. Overall, I feel that this bag is versatile and very applicable in the everyday setting. Most people still love the her bag collection and this experience is possibly just bad luck on my part. Don't get me wrong, I still love MS and all its quality bags. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you learn more about the her bag collection from my video. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Stay tuned for my tutorial on how to interchange the canvas on an MS her bag.